It's time to send the British Army to hell. If you ask me, the British don't stand a chance. <laughs> Angus, surely there's another woman you can have kiss you goodbye. Oh, none that'll have him. Must I remind you, mistress, at this time tomorrow, I could be lying in a field bleeding to death. I would hate for my last thought to be how you denied me my final request. <laughs> you are shameless. I'll not say goodbye to you, Claire. No need to, since none of us will be meeting our maker in this place. When we meet again, it'll be to embrace in victory. Share a stiff dram. Yes. We will win this day. This we day. Shall. But a day is coming where they may not. Where's Fergus? Have any of you seen Fergus? <laughs> he snuck out with him in order. I've been there myself. Or she will be there. The fear, a couple hundred years. Self doubt. But our men are depending on us. <laughs> There's Fergus. Kind of reminds me of the charge across the field in Bab in Band of Brothers. <laughs> He's about to have a rude awakening. <laughs> They're just mowing right through them. <laughs> yeah, they're slaughtering them. Not really a place for Fergus to be. Is that Rupert? Here. The Brits! Get this man on to bed. Rupert! He needs your muscles. That was Rupert. I'll be there in a second. No! Melina! Take over here. Yes, ma'am. I must save her, mistress. I'll no allow that fat ball bag to die on me. Hmm. That's a bad Molly, one. We have to close this wound before an infection sets in. Get me hot water, a large needle, and thread. Now. Straight away, mistress. Angus. There's Angus. Is he blown up? Tell me! What's he talking about? It's just a cannon blast. It's nothing. Yeah, that's a bad one. He's lucky he's got a time traveler taking care of him. Come on. Is that Angus that got him? That was Angus. Oh, so that's why he didn't know. He passed out just after he saw. Tell me the truth, mistress. 
Will he live? I'm bone weary. But I'll be keeping both eyes on his big belly going up <laughs> and down. As long as it does, let's hope. Fergus is about to get it. <laughs> oh, you wretch! What do you mean by sneaking off like that? Oh, box your ears until your head rattles. <laughs> Are you all right? I... You aren't injured, are you? No. I'm just... tired. Very, very tired. Coming down off the adrenaline rush. <laughs> Come with me. Just... Hmm. Dougal's taking care of the wounded, isn't he? Fast yourself. That blob no doubt protected his in it. Hi. Must have been those thud portions he gobbled at today. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> the man could eat. Could past tense. Can eat. I meant to say. He's in our life. You looked on in? No, it's just. It's been a long night. I thank you, lad. Truly. And I swear that I will not give you cause to regret your generosity. I know what you're up to. Hmm. You champion me and you exile me both at the same time. That's a plan worthy of my brother Colm. <laughs> Angus is Rupert. No, Angus. I, I had a feeling Angus was hurt more. Oh my God! The cannon blast! He's been beating internally this whole time. Angus. Is there nothing you can do? Wow. I was hoping Angus was going to survive this. I liked his character. So just as Angus dies, Rupert wakes up. Wow. That's disappointing. I was really hoping he would last. He would make it through. At least through the end of this season.
Wow, that was a really good episode. Like I said during the episode, a little disappointed in losing Angus the way we did. Kind of figure, though, by the end of the season, when they hit Culloden, or whenever that's going to happen, uh, a lot of them are going to die, if not most of them are going to die, because we know the history. But you still hate to see some of your favorite characters go, and Angus was certainly one of my favorite characters from the Scotland era of the, of the series so far. Uh, him and Rupert. Of course, Rupert, he was the one that you thought might actually die because of that wound, uh, and it turned out to be Angus that died. So I am disappointed to lose Angus out of the series. But we seem to be barreling headlong toward Culloden, and it doesn't look like they're going to be able to change history. Doesn't seem that way so far. Claire even mentioned that because she was right about this battle, that means that she's going to be right about Culloden and the disaster that awaits the Jacobite Rebellion. So I expect we have that coming up within the next couple of episodes. This was episode 10, so there's three more episodes left in the season. And the way the season started out, we know pretty well where this is going to be headed. We know that they didn't change history because Claire made it back to the 1940s. And she came across the man that was driving. And she asked him who won the Battle of Culloden. And he told her that the British won. So we, we pretty well know how things are going to go. But the question is, how are things going to go after that? Where is the series going to lead us? Now, like I said, when I first started the series, I know that it eventually will lead to America. And so things are really heating up. So stick around with me as we finish off Season 2. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new content. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave any comments that you have down below. And I'll see you on the next episode.